Hi! In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to use the rotation animation features in Proto.io. A simple way of animating the rotation of an object is by using interactions. We want our arrow to rotate when we tap the button. Let's add an interaction to the button. We set the trigger to tap, the action to animate item, and the item to arrow. We then set the animation type to rotate item. There are two rotation types. Rotate to X degree will rotate the item from its current rotation to the rotation angle we specify. The Rotate by X degrees option rotates the item by the desired amount regardless of the item's current rotation angle. Let's choose Rotate to X degree rotation and set our arrow to rotate to 135 degrees. We set the rotation direction to clockwise and the duration to 700 milliseconds. Let's save and preview our project in the player. Looks good. If you prefer to use states, then that's fine too. The result will be the same as when using interactions. Let's start from scratch. We add a second state to our screen. In the second state, we rotate the arrow by dragging the rotation handle until it reaches 135 degrees. Let's go back to our first state and add an interaction to our button by dragging the interaction handle to State 2. Proto.io prompts us to create a state transition, which is what will animate the rotation from one state to the other. Let's extend the arrow's timeline to 700 milliseconds, just as we changed the animation property in the previous method. Changing the rotation direction is easy. All we need to do is click on the rotation timeline and change the direction property. By default, that's set to Shortest Path. Let's set this to clockwise. This is the same as changing the animation options in our interaction before. Let's preview our project once more. And that's it. Our prototype works in the same way using both methods. You can use the one you prefer when creating your own prototypes.